thought I would take everyone on a tour of where I am teaching this spring semester in Italy. It's at a campus called the Instituto Filippin. I believe I pronounced that right. It's in a town of Paderno del Grappa, which is about 45 miles north of Venice at the base of the Dolomite Mountains. This is the sign that tells us we're entering Paderno del Grappa. And on the other side of the sign, it tells us everything on that side is not Paderno del Grappa. This is the campus uh, where I teach. These are some of the dorms and administrative buildings that are part of campus. Very pretty place, and it's got flanked by the foothills of the Dolomite Mountains uh, right behind it. And then on the other side, it looks out on the Venetian Plain heading down toward the Adriatic Sea. American students, there are about 150 American students here that have come from mostly the Midwest, and they are studying things like business and finance and a few journalism courses. I'm teaching two courses, one in visual communication, the other in travel photography. Once they got here, the staff here immediately got them involved in some skills building, team building exercises. Uh, in the gym, and so they all seem to have bonded together, and uh, I think everyone will know each other really well by the end of the uh, spring semester, which ends in, in April. One of the first things we did was a, a faculty staff dinner at a local restaurant. It was about three courses, and uh, it featured several types of wines and breads and things like that, and it was a really impressive uh, spread. These are my three buds that I hang out with. The person on the left is Fran Lloyd. She's from Columbia, South Carolina. And then the other two people, uh, the man is Andy Fields, and sitting across from him is Sandy Fields, his wife. And we do a lot of stuff together. This is the apartment building where I live, and uh, I live in the pink area in the back. It's a nice little place. It's efficient. Got two bedrooms and two baths. And um, here's me looking kind of goofy, getting ready to eat one evening. The windows for the apartment look out on one side to the southeast toward the Venetian plain. And I see some pretty spectacular sunrises there. And on the other side, I can open the windows and look up into the foothills of the Dolomite Mountains. Those mountains are really spectacular. They change character a lot with the light and the weather. A lot of times they're socked in with clouds, but many times they they catch the first sunlight of the morning. There is a bell tower that's right beside the apartment building. Every town seems to have a bell tower built around a church, and it's a handy little alarm clock because it rings every morning at 7 really loud, so you definitely hear it and can wake up to the sound of the bells ringing. It always seems to change its character depending on the time of day and the weather. Paderno del Grappa itself is, instead of being a one traffic like town, it is a one traffic circle town. Here's the traffic circle right in the center of town. There's a little hotel, a couple of shops, uh, and not much else in Paderno. That's about it. You can walk just about everywhere here. There's a lot of religious iconography and statues around the town. As you might imagine, it has a very strong Catholic heritage. So you see a lot of this kind of stuff everywhere. The surrounding countryside is mostly vineyards, so you can always go out and within a couple of blocks get out into a more rural type setting. We had a snow the other day, and that was uh, a kind of rare event from what I understand here. It doesn't snow a lot, but it provided some pretty spectacular uh, scenery as I went out and walked into some of the vineyards and took pictures of uh, early morning sunlight and snow. 
The nearest town to Paderno del Grappa is Crespano del Grappa. Everything is named del Grappa around here because Mount Grappa is that mountain you see in the background. Uh, one of the key features of Crespano is the Sunday market. We walk over there to that market and the whole town comes alive in Crespano's uh, version of a Walmart, outdoor version of Walmart, where you can buy anything from chickens and oranges to underwear. And there are a lot of cyclists out as well. Uh, they take their cycling very seriously here, so you see cyclists out on every weekend riding through the hills. One of my favorite places in this area is a little town called Asolo. It's up in the foothills, and Asolo predates Roman times. It's flanked, or it's topped by an old castle that you can hike up to. And it's just got a lot of beautiful light. And that seems to be one of the key features of towns here and life here uh, is the beautiful light. It uh, changes every day. Every day seems to have a different look and feel. Uh, very atmospheric. And this is the top of the solo. So that's a little tour of Paderno and the surrounding area.